to to uh, introduce you to Semantic Media Wiki because my goal actually is that the library community, uh, you have discussed a lot of tools, uh, I think, at your conference. Uh, they should be aware of what Semantic Media Wiki is and how it might uh, help them. So uh, quite briefly, um, we try to think of Semantic Media Wiki as a, a kind of a Swiss army knife, maybe for semantic web applications. Um, so you can see it as a collaborative data curation tool. This is maybe one aspect you would be interested in. Uh, you can also uh, see it as a tool for metadata management, you know, where you have content in, as, as wiki pages and you want to add metadata to that. Or you want to annotate di data directly in texts, for example. You can also see it as a, a knowledge graph interface, a quite easy to use knowledge graph interface actually, because it can be connected to triple stores. Um, so, but the question is, how do you feed the, the, the triple store with, with information? Um, if you don't care about semantics at all, you can also see it as a, a web-based database solution or a, a modern content management system uh, because it is based on, on uh, MediaWiki, so, um, and it adds managing data to MediaWiki. Uh, and <clears throat> uses uh, semantic web standards, so that's interesting if you want to reuse ontologies, vocabularies, you have an RDF or JSON output, you have APIs where you can get, uh, where you can query uh, data from your, from your uh, wiki. Um, one of the benefits also, it has an internal querying of data uh, with a rather simple to learn ask query. So for those of you like me who find Sparkle rather challenging, uh, this could be interesting. Sparkle is uh, an option in Semantic Media Wiki as well. Um, but not uh, so, uh, not directly. Um, so via a triple store or other uh, uh, extensions. Um, importing, exporting, and visualization is possible of the data you have in your um, in your wiki. Uh, there's around 70 result formats that uh, present you the, the your data in in various visualizations or or formats, including big text, for example. Uh, you can even implement business logic uh, in, with uh, Semantic Media Wiki. Um, so you can do this by customizing. So every customizing step is done on wiki pages. So you have properties as pages and templates as pages and all that. So you don't need a PHP program or any programming skills actually to really implement also business logic uh, into your your uh, your solution. And it's an open source software with a vibrant community. So we just had 234 participants at our conference this week. That was that was record breaking. Uh, one thing I, I wanted to I want to mention because we also love Wikidata, and the question is how to connect semantic media wiki and Wikidata is something that I'm working on. But uh, in case you 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 consider Wikibase as as to use in your own organization for your purposes then I would just recommend you to think twice because this, while this might be an interesting use case, um, the same use case managing data in MediaWiki, which is what Wikibase also does, can be solved with uh, semantic MediaWiki as well. And I would uh, invite you to the breakout session where we can discuss this further. Uh, I think that semantic MediaWiki is the more lightweight uh, approach than to install your own Wikibase instances, but we can discuss this, of course, in the breakout session. Thank you very much.